Can you can you quite put your finger on where it's not quite going right for you guys at the moment? Uh, yeah, well, to be honest, we've had a reasonable number of chances where we've gotten to the right place of the field to take opportunities, and we've messed them up. Um, so it's about us and our detail. And all our games so far have been pretty tight. And when you come down to it, if you don't nail those opportunities straight up, you come second. The stuff that you're doing, I mean, does it feel like things are close and it's close to ticking in the way that you want it to? Yeah, we've talked about that. Um, it's not like you have to reinvent the wheel, um, but we're pretty pissed off with ourselves um, for letting the opportunities go that we've had. We've got pretty high expectations of ourselves, so we're annoyed. Um, and we had a pretty frank conversation yesterday in our review of what needs to be done to fix this up. So. How frustrating is it with the, with the, the line out? I mean, we know it's multiple parts. Mm. One time it could be a throw, other times it's a lifter, other times it's the bloke at the yeah. top of the, the chain. Uh, it's easy, really. Uh, like we've lost the bulk of them ourselves. It's been our own execution, so that's that makes it better for you as a coach because what we're doing is actually all right. It's about us getting our detail right inside it. Um, if, if, if we were doing things well and losing our line outs, I'd be pretty damn worried. How confident are you going up against the Crusaders on who's soon? Uh, always confident. Um, we've got a massive amount of respect for them. Um, they're a very good team, but we certainly don't fear them. We, we just know that we have to be at our best. You, you can't come into a game like that and not achieve that and get a victory. You're going to get Sam Kane back this week. He was out there taking part. Do you know if he's available for selection? Yeah, hopefully. Um, it's one of those ones we'll see how he um, scrubs up after he's done a full session today. If he's 100%, then he's likely to be in it. And if he's still a bit sore, we'll just we won't risk it. Crusaders look like they might be without Scott Barrett again this weekend. How big a loss for them? Oh, it's always handy. He's a class player, but as you know with the Crusaders, they're two or three deep in every position, so it won't be any easier. But yeah, Scotty's, Scotty's a friggin' all black, so it's always